Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to tell you about how we sleep trained our 13 month old daughter and weaned her from breastfeeding in three days. If you're new here, my name is Diana. I make videos about parenthood, being a business owner, and the lifestyle that that comes with. So if you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe because we're almost at a thousand. So we're almost there. I'm back from our little break that I had from YouTube. I just need a little breather and get our life together. And I want to share with y'all how we did this, how we sleep trained, weaned from breastfeeding at night, and we did it, y'all. We're here. <laughs> so sleep training our 13-month-old daughter, Milena, was difficult. <laughs> I mean, sleep training isn't easy for anyone, really. Um, but there was a few things that we did that helped us get through this process and now like Lena sleeps through the night she'll she does still cry but then she just falls asleep in her crib so I'm gonna tell you guys what we did so the very first thing that we did to sleep train her is Lena was already on a schedule prior to us deciding that we wanted to sleep train her and wean her at night first let me tell you why we decided to do this um, so I've been predominantly breastfeeding her on demand which means whenever she wants to nurse I just feed her um, she doesn't take a bottle or anything she stopped that maybe like three or four months when we decided we we're just gonna breastfeed on demand and it's been fine you know <laughs> I haven't had really any issues with it but lately she has been like it's been too much on me and on my body and I'm, I want to sleep and I haven't been able to sleep like she stopped sleeping through the night she would normally sleep through the night and then wake up like one time at night and I'll nurse her and we'll all go back to sleep and that that was working for a long time and then she decided that I don't know maybe it's because we're always traveling we're always going everywhere so she hasn't really had too much consistency so She'll wake up a lot throughout the night and I'll be nursing her throughout the night and I'm her pacifier throughout the night. So I'm not sleeping. She's probably not getting the best sleep. Kwame's not getting any sleep. So this was time for us to sleep train her so that she can sleep. And she also started co-sleeping with us. So she's sleeping in the bed with us. She was nursing all night long. It just, it wasn't good for any of us. Um, so now that we're in a new space and we're more consistent with everything that we're doing, it was just time. I also knew that she was ready to sleep train because she she can sleep through the night. Like, that's not a problem. It's just we've been waking her up by accident. So anyway, this is all why we decided to do it. So she's already had a, her own schedule and it's like five, six, seven. At 5 p.m. she'll eat, eat dinner. Six o'clock will start her bedtime routine, which is a shower because she doesn't really bath she doesn't like that so we shower her she um gets rubbed down and everything we put on her pajamas and read her book and then we'll get if it's not close to seven o'clock yet if it's still like 6 30 or whatever we'll just play for a little bit and then seven o'clock is when she's like okay i can't i'm ready to go to sleep let's sleep so i'll nurse her and then I, like I used to be nursing her to sleep, but now I don't do that anymore. I nurse her and then Kwame will take her and he'll put her in her crib. The crib that we have, because she's still in our room, doesn't have to be, but that's just where we're at right now. Her crib is, um, I'll link it down below. It's like a foldable crib. Um, it's still like a regular size crib or whatever. So we'll put her in there. So the way the first night went, it was honestly so terrible. It was, she cried on and off for three hours, okay? She cried and cried and cried. And I just felt so bad, but it was just like, the only way we could do this. And it was, I know it was a lot for her because we're sleep training her. So she's no longer co-sleeping with us at night. And she's no longer nursing at night. So she was getting weaned and co sleeping and no more co-sleep, so that's two hard things for her. So the first night was really, really hard. Then the second night, she also took her nap in her crib, which I'm fine with if she just contact naps, like I'm cool with that because we're always doing stuff. But um, yeah, I was home, so I just put her in her crib and she went to sleep. Second night, she cried on and off for only 45 minutes. Yeah, it was 45 minutes. 
um, on and off. Like she cried straight for about 15 minutes and she just cried on and off and she put herself to sleep. And what's great about this is like, I did notice that she woke and at night, but she cried for maybe less than five seconds and put herself back to sleep. Normally if she wakes up in the middle of the night, I gotta put her back to sleep or Pummy has to put her back to sleep. But with the sleep training, it's teaching her how to soothe herself. I know it just sounds so barbaric. It sounds so like, <sighs> but it, I had to teach her. This is the only way we really knew how to teach her. So maybe for the next kid, we'll teach them a different way, but this is how we had to teach her this way. And it, for me, because I nursed her all through the night, pretty much for the past couple of months, because that's what she's been wanting to do, I was really, really engorged. Like the whole night I woke up super engorged, but when she woke up, she was ready to nurse, but she took some of that pain away. But the first three nights I was so engorged. Now I'm not so engorged, like this is a week later and she's still sleeping through the night. But yeah, just be warned <laughs> if that's what you do. And on the third night, which she was pretty much like just ready to go, she cried for five minutes. <laughs> on and off for five minutes and then she went to sleep. So she sleeps from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. The first night she woke up at like five though. And I just, I, I didn't care because I was so engorged. I was like, all right, I'll just nurse her. And she went back to sleep until seven. Um, but I had nursed her back to sleep. Second night she woke up at seven. And then the third night she also woke up at seven. So she's sleeping 12 hours. I put on the um, thumbnail, like 10 to 12 hours but right now she's consistently sleeping 12 hours which is really cool like it just it feels good to like i don't know if any other moms are dealing with this but my daughter's so attached to me so she's always on me which i'm not upset about it, it doesn't really make me feel like terrible but i didn't realize that i needed that those 12 hours of her sleeping for me to rejuvenate and for me to get myself back together get some stuff done even take a nap go to sleep you know have a good night's sleep and like normally i sleep on my back so she can nurse but yeah i don't have to do it anymore i can sleep however i want to sleep Kwame can sleep however he wants to sleep because he doesn't have to hold her it's just <sighs> so if you're out there and you're thinking like man i really have to do this it's really difficult but i thankfully I have Kwame who was there with me the entire time. Like we did this together. I don't put her down. Cause I'm sure if I put her down, it would be completely different. Kwame puts her into the crib. I do the whole nighttime routine with her so that she's, you know, she's all right. <laughs> but Kwame will put her down after he reads her the book and everything. And now she sleeps through the night. Um, if you guys have any other questions, like questions on our routine or just anything, um, just leave it down in the comments down below or follow me on Instagram. I will accept your follow request and I, I, I love talking on Instagram so you can always talk to me over there as well. So I hope this video was helpful for anyone and um, yeah, thank you so much. We're almost at a thousand. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Peace.